Hi, Chuck Hawley from West Marine with a quick buyer's guide on winterizing heaters. You know, if you're leaving your boat in the water over the winter or possibly on a trailer and you want to give it extra protection, there are a variety of 110 volt heaters that can make your boat winterization safer. Let's go over a couple of your options. One of the first things you might consider is going with just a stab standard electric cabin heater. A number of cabin heaters like this West Marine cabin heater have a setting so that it only comes on when the temperature gets very, very cold. You can set the thermostat down to 38 degrees. So when it's too cold to be on board the boat, but still above freezing, the heater will just be off and it's not a problem. But when it drops down to the near freezing temperatures, the cabin heater comes on and that can help protect your potable water systems, sewage system, and even your uh, engine compartment. So that's one possible option. Another option is to use something like the West Marine Cabin Furnace. This is also thermostatically controlled. And one of the nice things about the cabin furnace is you can turn it down very low. And when you do, it slows down both the fan speed and the amount of energy that's come, being consumed by it. So instead of cycling on and off with the thermostat, it sort of picks a constant temperature and stays on that. It's very nice, especially if you're living aboard because you don't have to listen to the fan cycle all the time. Another option is something like the West Marine Turbo Dryer. Now this isn't a heater per se, it only draws 90 watts, but it has a small heating element and a fan inside of it. And the idea is to move slightly heated air throughout your cabin to pre prevent mildew from forming and prevent water from condensing. The Turbo Dryer is just put down on a flat surface and the heat that it produces in the fan creates sort of a convection cell inside your boat. That'll, again, keep the moisture from forming so your boat stays dry and you don't get those miserable growths in the middle of the winter. There's one more type of winterizing heater. This is a, an engine room heater, in this case by Extreme Heaters. This is a relatively small electric heater. In this case, this is only about 300 watts of output compared to 1,500 watts, but it's designed to run more or less all the time in your engine compartment. It's ignition protected so that it's not going to ignite gasoline fumes. And the idea is that by radiating warm, dry heat around your engine, it keeps your engine block from freezing and it, and it uh, allows you to keep your boat in condition so that you can use it even in cold conditions. Otherwise, if you winterize your boat, you're sort of stuck for the entire winter unless you want to re-winterize it afterwards. With extreme heaters, you can keep your boat ready to go using the heater to keep your engine block warm. The other thing this does is get rid of moisture in your engine room so your engine stays drier and in better shape. You know, each one of these heaters has a different application, but the key thing is it can help you extend your boating season into those shoulder seasons where oftentimes you just put the boat on the trailer and shrink wrap it and you never use it again. These are great ways to get more use out of your boat. They're very economical to operate, and all of them are available from West Marine.